Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you a retrospective MIDI record in Reaper. Now the concept of retrospective MIDI record is that in the background, Reaper is always recording our MIDI to a buffer we could always use later. If we forget to hit record during playback, or even if our transport is stopped. So we're not gonna lose anything we might happen to play. So I have a project set up here with a piano. Let's say I'm messing around with a part and I didn't hit record or play. Let's check it out. I have the virtual MIDI keyboard down here so you can see what I'm playing. Let's say I'm really happy with that performance or what I played, but before we had retrospective MIDI record, there would be no way to retrieve that performance or that melody I played. But now we can. If we go up here to the Actions menu, Show Action List, we could type in to the filter Retro, and there's a few actions for retroactive MIDI record. We can clear the MIDI history, we could insert all the MIDI we may have recorded for quite a while, or well, these options down here, just the most recent performance, which is after we hit play or stop. So I'm going to choose this one, just double click it, and we can see right here we have a MIDI performance. And if we play it back, We could see or hear we didn't lose anything. So at all times, Reaper is recording everything we do in the background. So we could always get it back, whether it's the performance or just the melody or idea we want to remember. Let's take a look at a different situation. In this project, I already have some rhythm tracks I want to play to, and it sounds like this. And I want to create a synth part to go on top, but I'm not sure what I want to play just yet. So I'm trying a few things out during playback. Now, typically you probably should hit record just in case, but if you forget to, as I'm going to right now, we're not going to lose that performance. So again, I'm going to play the part down here, but notice I'm just going to hit play and not record while I do it. And we're not going to lose any of the part I play. Let's check it out. Again, I'm just hitting playback, not record. And let's say I'm really happy with the performance or just the melody I came up with, but we forgot to hit record. But luckily, we can use this feature, the retrospective MIDI record feature. So we'll go up here to the actions menu, show action list, type in retro, and choose one of these options. I'm going to choose this one again, which is going to insert the most recent performance I played. Double click it, and it inserts the last performance I played, even though we forgot to hit record. And it should sound exactly the same. Let's check it out. It's perfect. It's exactly what we played when we forgot to hit record. So at any point, we could always get back 
any performance or melody we recorded using retrospective MIDI record. So that's pretty much it. That's retrospective MIDI record in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.